Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, it's your girl V Henny, man, you already know the vibes, welcome to the artistry where we talk shit about music, entertainment, and the everyday struggles, and you know how we do, man, we always have a dope guest in the building, we have a hip-hop artist, Latino, reps, Cali, Colombia, yeah, man, no, we got your guy Doggy Crazy in the building. Burr, 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 burr. Hey, how, you How you doing? Good to see you. Good to be out here. I know. Good to see you. I mean, I'm like, bro, like, I think the last time I saw you was like, what? Was was it in Philly? Because that was crazy that I saw you in Philly. Yeah, I think like a year. Almost a year. About, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good show out there. Yeah, no, you you've been um you've been working, you've been on the grind, you've been on the grind, and I'm like, compared to um, I believe when I met you, I believe I met you during the pandemic. I think um I was doing a show, and you they brought you to my show, and we we was introduced, and I feel like we've been following each other since. And again, congratulations on your you know your your success so i definitely i always do a toast so i want to just say to you congratulations to your success um congratulations for just overcoming the obstacles because again it's not easy being an artist Mm -hmm. so um this is to you you understand we got some bamboo in here you understand shout out to bamboo for having us and let's do this (sighs) you like rum yeah, it tastes really good. I like that. I like that. I've, I've, and I always tell people this, bro. I'm not. You know how many people I'm converting to rum drinkers now? Like, <laughs> like it's wild. But um, definitely. Um, again, shout out to Bumble for having us. Um, I, I learned with you that you came to because I always knew you was from Colombia. I thought you came at an early age. But I learned that you came at 17. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So my question to you with that is, how was your transition like from Colombia to out here to the States? And was that like a major um, culture shock for you? Um, well, at the beginning, it, it was because I didn't speak English. Uh huh. So um, most of the environment that I was, everybody speak English and then. Even 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 though I have a couple of friends from Colombia, like they've been out here for the longest, so they were more used to speak English. Okay. So then I was like, man, I gotta start learning because I gotta, you know, like basically like blend in. Too, right, right, right. When you don't speak English, it's like they don't really like talk to you as much. Right. So then I started like reading and learning like five words per day every single day. Right. I stopped to listen to Spanish music just because I want to educate my ear. So by listening to music uh-huh. in English, uh-huh. you know, it helped me. It helped me more. So it was it was a challenge, but it was something that I was wanting for right. myself too. Because as an artist, I wanted to be different. Right. 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 Um, I didn't really get inspired as much like making Spanish music. I I could do, but I like it. I like to express myself more in English. Mm. So then, was, yeah, because you was doing reggaeton. Yeah, I was doing reggaeton. But then when I came out, <laughs> I yeah, want to hear now re- your reggaeton sound because I'm like I'm so used to now hearing you like you have like this whole for me you have you obviously you do both you like a Spanglish trap yeah. you understand so. I'm like, wait, were you like reggaeton, like Daddy Yankee reggaeton type of thing, or like bad, but you know, like how, or like a bad like, bunny, like like a Latin trap, like how was it? Nah, it was really like Daddy Yankee, like Daddy Yankee. Commercial. Okay. Yeah, like some like cuando tú llamas y tú quieres que te llegue donde tú estás, okay. Mami, yo voy a buscarte no importa el lugar. Alistate, prepárate, que vamos a lumbiar. Okay, like I can see the girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's something I'll be thinking like, man, I should get back to it, you know, start dropping um, in Spanish. And you, you know, should. That's something that I, that I have uh, on words, definitely. Because I feel like um, right now, especially, um, you know, like Latin music is actually, I love hip hop. I will always, listen, I, 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 I Latina from the Bronx, excuse me, you know, I, I, I breathe hip hop, you know, like it was, 
it was something that was in us. You understand? So for me though, like I've always, I will always be, I will always love my, my Latin music as well. So I feel like right now where Latin music is at, it's actually like number one or like top five, but it's no, usually number one right now. Whereas then I feel like you should, if you haven't yet, like definitely like, um, infuse your music with it. Cause you know, like it's it's how you started too, you know? So yeah, that's dope. Yeah, definitely. Um I just how can I explain it? It was more like the mm-hmm. network side, like I was able to meet more people in it from the hip hop industry uh-huh. than the than the Latin side. Okay. So, you know, but now they like, you know, like I uh, being out there it is definitely easier to like reach to people. So um I've been working on uh, you know, reach the right people. So when it comes down to marketing, and okay, you know, I will have a good team behind. Gotcha. You know? So, what made you, I guess, come to the states? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming a better living, but what was the actual reasoning behind so it was that? My, my parents, because um, I, I was going through a lot um, on the streets, like being a little wild. So mm. they were just okay getting bad news all the time i got stabbed once and that was like the mm, that was like the, the end like they were like nah you, we gotta get you out of here you got stabbed yeah where on my legs <sighs> sitting on the bus really yeah and then i passed out after what i wake up I how old were you <laughs> 16 like that was a year before <sighs> wow something like that and when i came out here um basically i didn't have no but my parents didn't come with me okay um, and then I, I had one of her friends looking out for me for a little while, but afterwards I just moved. That's crazy. Yeah. I heard, I mean, I, I've never been to Colombia. Yeah. I, I will say the Colombian food, amazing. Mm-hmm. Good food, good sure. food. I go to Queens a lot, you understand? So good food. But um, I've never been. I heard it's beautiful. Um, but I just feel like anywhere, like, you know, like, people, you get, you're you going to hear stories. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like. Yeah, have a good part. And, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Parts that like you you shouldn't be out there, you know. But, Do you go back often or no? Nah, I haven't been out there like ten years. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow! So you came so from um, Colombia, you came straight to New York. Yes. Okay, and you just been I've networking been, since and mm-hmm. building. Now, would you say because you was doing reggaeton in Colombia, right? Mm-hmm. So were you taking your music seriously? Um, over there, or did you start taking it seriously out here? No, I took it serious out here. Out there was more like nothing professional. Like okay. In the studio, it was a little computer and okay. a little mic and okay. you know, stuff like that. But definitely out here when I started working and you know, making money and networking out, I, I started like going to the studio and mm. taking it serious more. Mm. And I always like I like to get knowledge about the business. Like that's more the more important thing that right. I find out about the music is sometimes as an artist you just focus more on like creating, but then you, sometimes you just think like because you have a talent or oh, okay, this is gonna reach the people. But you right. actually gotta understand how you're gonna move your music where no, you gotta learn. You gotta learn that. You gotta know how to move move your music. You gotta learn the business. And the fact that you keep mentioning networking, which is I think is smart because again, your network is your net worth. You know, like um, as an emerging artist, you know, like coming in the, you know, coming to the scene, it's who you know. And I, I'm being honest, like yeah, the the work ethics and the grind does matter, but it's also who you know in this industry. So you've been exactly. for what like ten years now, just working your way up. At what point, how how long you were you in New York already and you realized the importance of networking? Mm, I would say when I was already like six years in. Okay. That's when I realized that like, man, I got to be out there in the scene and, and, and get to know people. That's how I met, um, I met NBA Youngboys. Right. OG3. And then after that, I realized that like, man, you, you got to be outside really like. And right. Whoever you think you might think um that like it will it will um it will accomplish everything that you do and then you get inspired with it. it's easy to reach out if you really put your mind into it, you know. Mm-hmm. If you gotta go to a show and be in a crowd, it's nothing bad about right. it. Right, right. Learning and how how would you be up there and how you would do your own thing too. How long did it take you to 
learn English fluently? Because I know you met a Russian girl yeah. and she was giving you five words, right, per day? Yeah. So how long did that take? Because again, like you, the fact that you learned, you know English and you, you made it your business to read and now I'm sure you're now reading contracts and so on forth. So how long was that process? I would say probably like three years. Okay. Three years. And then in the meantime, we were using the translator whenever that I don't understand. Okay. Okay. It was really about patience. That's when I really learned like how to be patient. Mm. And, and she did too, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it was, we, we love each other back then. So it was really about that. Like, when you love somebody, I guess you have more patience. Right, right. And I was, I, I was, I had discipline with it. I was reading every day. Now, now I, I wouldn't say, oh yeah, I read a book. I, I'd be reading a lot, but back then, yeah, when when I started learning, I was reading. Mm. So when it, and when I started uh, rapping and, and developing my sounds, um, it was more challenging. You know, it was the hardest part because right. you don't, when you speak Spanish and it's your first language, you don't think in English, you, you can make sense right away. Right. So it took me some time to like really think about it. And then, okay, right there, like first two words. Type shit. Wow. Yeah. The process is gone, but nowadays it's, it's easy. It's easy now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask you that because I'm like to merge the two. It's not easy. So I could imagine like just learning to know how to combine your flow, your lyrics, the music, everything, you know. And it's, you know, again, sometimes certain words in English is not the same, you know, so. Mm. <laughs> it makes sense, but it's Right, right, right. So let me ask you this. So as within this whole 10 year span, um, of you building your career um, as an emerging artist, new to New York, you know, are there any specific lessons that you learned that helped shape your career? Um, I would say, I would say, like in the beginning, when nobody know know you and stuff, like paying to get on stage for exposure, mm. that's a really good thing. Because oh wow okay I love that you said that because you they you know artists be saying we scammers with when it comes no, to that no it, it don't like the shows that they would do every show was packed um I will say that like it helps because sometimes in real life people take you more serious than the internet like they see anybody in, in the internet and they be like okay like this dude is just going viral and stuff but when they see you in, in person mm -hmm. and, you know they see your personality it's like you connect with them more so. It, you made a, a fan that was stick with you for the longest. Right. So I feel like a lesson that I learned was that like, you know, sometimes you just gotta go in, in your packets and pay for it. So that it made sense for you. you know? Right, right, right. And then yeah, I feel like that was that was a good one because people talk about it a lot, like, oh, like yeah, like you said. Like, They're like, it's a scam, game. like, oh, That's we're not paying to do show. And I'm like, like I'm too good to like be paying to get on stage. Right. Like, you know, you got to be honest with yourself. Like, nobody know you in the city. Like, people might know you from high school or whatever, but, like, actually you doing music is different. Like, you got to earn that respect with somebody. Uh, I'm going to go and pay the ticket. Now, I agree with you. I, I definitely agree. I, I agree also. It's, it needs to make sense to your brand. Mm -hmm. Because I'd be telling artists too, like, don't just pay for any shows either. You understand? Like, pay for a show that makes sense for your brand. You know, like, if this is, this, this, I don't know, this is your type of sound and you feel like, yo, I'm going to get something out of this, it's okay to do so. Yeah. I feel like, in a, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it just, it's just, again, it's a business, you know, yeah. but I'm glad that you said that because, again, uh, you hear this, I feel like this topic will always be a never ending story in a sense, you know, like you're going to people, you're going to have people who feel like, oh, it's not, you know, it's, it's a scam or whatever. And some people like yourself, they feel like, you know, it's, it's beneficial. You know, let me ask you this though, like, because again, you like, you know, you're meeting people at this point. Cause when I remember one of my stages you did was in my, here in the city. Um, Bowery was it? It was one of those. It was either Bowery or the other. There was another one. It was close. Yeah, yeah, it was around there. And I remember, you know, at that point, I'm seeing you like I'm seeing the buzz you're creating at this point, right? Yeah. And I'm like, 
how do you or can you share any rejections or setback in your career and how you handle that, like that particular situation? Because I feel like the more, you know, you're, you're building up now, people are watching you. I'm sure people was coming, you know, again, I know you building what um, you was, I think at that point you was already building with a young boy, right? Or not yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. So you got people watching you, whatever. I'm sure people, contracts was coming your way, whatever. Like, have you dealt with any rejections or setbacks? Um, I think, it, yeah, um, I did, I did sign a major deal. Okay. With a label that I don't really want to smoke about. That's fine. You don't have to mention who it but, is. Like, it made me realize that, like, just because you sign a major deal, they don't mean you're going to be up there mm. because it's about how much you put in yourself too. Um, they give you a bag, you feel me? And but you got to bring that bag back. Some, and when it's the first time, believe me, you don't, you're not thinking about it. <laughs> right. You're not thinking about it. You just see the brand. And it's like, okay, it's, this is what I, I deserve, you know? And then when you realize that like, you're not um, bringing as much as they expect them from you, okay. they put you on the corner without even really like letting you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like, sometimes don't think just cause you're going major, you're going to be like prioritized. You right. Gotta, you got to keep putting in work, keep investing in yourself and actually use that money to uh, invest it on the next project you're going to do with it. So I feel like that was a major setback because I thought like, oh, okay, I'm going to be thinking on I'm going to be huge now, you feel me? Like, right, be, right, uh, right. I was ready to, like, you feel me? Like, getting too comfortable, but in reality, it was, like, it was more people <laughs> p- passing me and then doing their thing, and, you know, but it's good that that happened. Um, I feel like early, I, I still young, I'm 28, I feel like um, it wouldn't happen again. Okay, like, okay. I'm prepared for, like, the next deal. And then take it through a next level. So, yo, that's the thing. Because people be like, yo, let me get... Yo, they're giving us the bag. And then you... you, see, I've seen people spend it on the most dumbest. Yeah. And I'm like... Yeah. I'm like, do you do you realize you have to make this money back? And you still got to... So, for example, um, Joel's Ortiz, right? Uh, from um, Dipset, right? The reason why he blew up the way he blew up... Mind you, I think at that point he was already signed... It's because he took out money from his own pocket and he had to build his own marketing team, his own street team, and all that stuff. Because the 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 contract he had, they gave him the bag, but it wasn't even enough. Like, you know, so it's like, you know, the fact that you said you you know, that was a setback, but it also you gained uh, an experience. Because I'm I'm sure now at this point. I know how to move better. And at this point, I feel like I will get a better deal just because like what I went through with this label and shit. So okay. Are you signed to your um young boy? Um uh, management deal. Management so deal. Is my manager. Okay. How's that how how did that happen? Um actually uh the way I posed it was like I I I wanted to pay for a feature, you know, with OG3 because he also made music. And then end out just like developing a friendship and family. And he liked my music. Okay. And then since then, I just got more motivated to like you know step on my crab and get better and better. And from then he he um we started working together. And then also like I started helping bringing business to the table. You know, okay. For him, for me, and then. You know, he see the potential that like, okay, I could also be a businessman in the industry. And and you know, like um I I'm able to handle my my own too when he's not around. Right, 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 right. You know, like I built the leverage where like okay, I can make decisions on my own too, but I also like uh talk to him first and see what he think and stuff mm. like that. Okay. Is this your first time having a management deal? Uh no, I did have one before. But that was through the label. No, oh, no, you had one, a regular. The, the one before was like, like, like a private. Like, okay, you know, okay, just, uh, just part of your team and stuff like that. But it didn't work out. You know, okay. And I just move on, and you know. How do you go about speaking of which? Then it's like because I get it. Like you know when it doesn't work out. Like how you go about working with people or having. 
aside from doing just musicians, like just people being a part of your team? Um, I just go by like who believe on my vision and, and, and what I, I like to do. Okay. Because sometimes um, there's people that they part of your team, but they don't follow through mm. with what you want to do. Okay. So when it's too much like against of what you want to do, that's when it's like, you know, like if you can't, if you don't believe in what I'm bringing in, then it's kind of hard to like get along together. So okay. I, I like to work with people that like they open up to like listen to what I got to, you know, what I got going on. Right, table, right, right. Cool with it and want to make it better. All right, babe, let's do it. Right, you know right. Because I mean? the thing with this is like you got to have people that's open to like work and keep going and not somebody to slow you down. Yeah. Um, no, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. It's not I've been listen. I I I've, I work with like I still to this day work with certain um particular artists, um or like influencers as far as like management team, you know. But like my experience, like in the past working with like under like like under more underground artists and up and coming artists, it's not because sometimes like I I do agree with you. I think you guys have to communication and being on the same page is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you guys are not on the same page, you know, like it's it's there's going to be some sort of conflict. So my question to you is, what's your vision for yourself? Um, my vision for myself is be on top of the game with the music. Right now I'm on, into fashion. It's right. clothing brand. Okay. It's called Ten Toes. Um, I'm partner um, my friend Jorge in Utah. Okay. So they manufacture in Utah. And basically, like, um, we ship it all over the world. Um, national. Dope. So my vision is really like being on top of the music, but also developing with the fashion. Okay, that's dope. I I I was looking at that. I saw that you have a merch, which yeah. is this. So how long have you started focusing on fashion? Uh, I would say since November last year. Okay. Yeah, not too long ago, but it's it's doing good little by little. Okay. Because I never had merch for my fans, and now they see. Right, it's right. Like get into it, you know, and and and, it, and it's dope because it feels good, like something that you own, and like people actually like it and promote it and stuff. You know? What's a misconception people have of you watching you through social media? Um, I don't know. Probably people would think that like I'm I'm too hard body or something. <laughs> I'm saying though you be you do be like this. I do, I do, yeah, I do look like I'm like I'm like that, but you know everybody is human. You feel me? No, so I get it. When it comes down to like conversation, talk to somebody. I really like to get to know somebody. You know, conversation stuff. And I'm really an open person. Okay. I can see that. I can see that because you do be looking like you, you know, like you're about to, <laughs> you understand? Know like, you know, put the works on somebody, but like, you're, but, but I'm honestly, you're really, for me, you're super humble. Like, yeah. you're really, you're humble and you're easy to approach, like, and have a conversation. You're not, you know, like, which is, again, when you look at the, your social media, I'm like, I'm like, yo, this guy look like he about to. <laughs> but, but I, I like that because, at the end of the day, again, like when people meet you in real life, they they have another, they they like happier now. Like, oh, I met mean, him. He he was my cool. Like, you know, he won't remember you. Right. Longest. So you know, that's cool to have a different uh, expectation. Right, right, right. No, definitely. Um, what are we? Are you dropping just singles? Like, what are you doing? Are you dropping an album? So right now I'm working on just singles. Okay. Yeah. Um. I probably will drop an album next year just because, like, the marketing strategy right now. Okay. You know, like, like, um, I want to give time, more time for people to, like, listen to my song. I feel like people, uh, nowadays, artists drop too much. Okay. You know, like, it's like they drop every week, every, you know, like. So it don't really give time for for me. You know, I don't really give time to my people to like. I gotcha. Go through my catalog and listen to the songs. Okay. Like single every month. Okay. Every day, you know? But I think it's super dope. I, I I definitely um I just you know overall like I, I I'm I am proud of you of like just seeing you 
like I said, work. Um, how many times I've seen you in events that I wasn't even anticipating of seeing you. And I'm like, oh shit, what up? Like, you understand? Yeah. Like, the fact that I even saw you in Philly with that time and I'm, I'm here with Kay and I'm like, I see you. I'm like, oh, you know, like, I'm, you are, your places, you're outside, you know? Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm proud of it because again, the fact that you didn't know English, you understand? You came out here. I love the fact that you, you met somebody and they, you know, like that whole five word, like learning to, you know, like making it your business and being disciplined to learn English, to get to where you're at and like learning the business. It says a lot, you know, like you're, you're hungry. Um, so I'm proud of you with that, you know? Um, I remember you telling me you are, you know, you're, you're having a baby girl. Um, I do want to know, like, Knowing that you, you, you're about to have a daughter, has that impacted your perspective on life and music? Um, honestly, um, I would say that, like, I do think about, like, I'm, as, a, as an artist, I have to be more established. Right. You know, I feel like that's something that, like, it's, like, more pressure. Like, like I got to be really, like, up there now because then I have somebody that... It's, you know, I got to look out for it. Right, right, right. I feel I'm happy. Okay. Know, I'm, I'm, I, emotionally, I'm really, I'm really prepared to be a father. Are you? Yes. Financially, we working on it. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, if nothing in life is easy, you know, so. Yeah. So lastly, I want to know, when was the last time you did something for the first time? When was the last time I did something for the first time? Yes. Okay, yes. I would say one month ago, I went to eat to a restaurant by myself. Okay. And had a piña colada. <laughs> really? That's okay. Yeah. That's good. How was I? I actually. Let me tell you something. I told I told this. Some, actually, I said this. I think a week ago. I, I miss having like dinner by myself. I actually used to enjoy doing that. Nah, so how yeah. was that experience for you? It was really good. Like just like I didn't even have to I don't talk to nobody, just clear my mind. Okay. Like, doing the food, not really paying attention to my phone, you know, like um it was at a rooftop, so you know, it was it was not that hot. So, okay. It was really good weather. And honestly, it just I feel like it helps a lot with mental health. Like, right. It, it boosts your confidence up too. You know, like you don't really have to go out with somebody. Right. 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 I would say like that was the first time I'd be in a long time. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you plan on doing this more often now? Like, you know, like just for mental health purposes. Yeah, I think I will. I enjoy it. I'm telling you, I used to just, I remember I used to just go to a restaurant, have like, I'll go to like a Japanese spot, have some sushi. And I'm like, doo, 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 doo. like, I'll read a book or work on my laptop. I don't know. Like you just, I feel like sometimes people get like insecure with like being by themselves. And it, you know, like, it's like you said, it's not necessary that you need to have somebody with you, you know, like, um, so that's dope. And so, and you said you had a pina colada. Yeah. That was a, that was not that was the first time you had a pina colada? No, no, no. Not the first time, but Okay. Like the first time having a drink. Right, 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 right. Okay. Usually, like people go out and drink with their friends and stuff. Okay. That day I was just Feeling like going by myself. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's that's a like that's not dope. Telling nobody what I'm at. <laughs> you know? That's what's up. Have you ever done like vacation by yourself? I haven't done that. I I don't think so. But have you done that? Well, it was doing a show at the same time. Okay. I would call it a vacation because, like, being somewhere outside the okay. city is having a vacation for me and working on music at the same time. Okay. Okay. I look at it like that. Okay. Okay. No, that, I, I get Okay, I, I can see that. Or, um, I get that. No, that's what's up, though. Um, so what are, we ha what are we expecting next from you coming up um, within the next... I say, like, you know, like, from now to, like, the ending of this year. Um, I will drop more Spanish songs. Okay. Okay. With a video each. Um, 
I'm working on getting a tour during the winter. Okay. So probably going on tour. Not too many cities. Probably like six, seven cities. Oh, you're saying like what? North? Like northeast? West? Half and half. Okay. Yeah. Um, definitely going back to Salt Lake City. A lot of people show me love. Yeah, there. Salt Lake City? Never yeah. been. I heard it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really peaceful. Okay. The mountains is crazy. Yeah? Huge. Wow. You feel like in a movie. Yeah. That's dope. And the people are really kind and nice. Oh, okay. Like that's that probably be the second city I would. Okay. Would go okay. That's dope. So, like, what, what would be the first city you want to hit? Um, I want to start out here in New York. Okay. Go to Salt Lake. Probably ended uh, Massachusetts, Boston. Okay, yeah. I haven't been there for like almost like three years. Okay, okay. So I want to go back and do a show out there. I they they show a lot of love out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've done the show out there. I like actually it was it was I like the energy. It was. No, I've never been in Atlanta. I think you never been to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Like, like, not doing a show. I went there just to, like, help somebody more, but I come back. Like, right, right. Like, but you never got to experience, like, the music scene. Yeah, no. Oh, you got to let me know, because... Yeah, so I think, like, that would be one of the cities I would like to do. I like, I like, you know, I, yeah, I like Atlanta. I like, so you let me know. If you do something in Atlanta, let me know, because I could definitely help out in that market. Uh, that's dope. That's super dope. Nah, definitely, um... We're going to speak about that. Congratulations on everything you're doing. Uh, congratulations on the merch. Uh, I love it. Fire. Fire. I, I fuck with it. And, um, you know, like, I look forward to seeing more of you. Um, I'm, I look forward to your growth. And, you know, just constantly building because I feel like we're going to continue building with one another, you know. Uh, for those that are watching, where can they find you um, and all that good stuff? Well, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, don't be crazy. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, every platform, and TikTok. Y'all can go check my website, 10 Toes Official, for the merch. Get it. Yeah, I already know the vibes, man. Is your girl V Honeyman, the artistry. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be following him. All his information will be in the description box below. All you have to do is click on it. It's free. And yo, shout out to Bumble for having us. Bel Air, all that good stuff. You understand? We here drinking. Rock out with your cocks out. Jam out with your clam out. Bow.